What's up, guys? We're back with an absolute bomb dropping podcast. We got Shannon Sharp interviewing Cat Williams, which this one was incredible, guys. Everybody has seen that podcast by now. It's got like 10 million views, 20, 15 million views, something crazy. It's his highest viewed on the show because he basically calls out everybody, guys. Steve Harvey, Kevin Hart, Cedric the Entertainer, Ricky Smiley. He also calls out um, Martin Lawrence as well from Big Mama's House. All these amazing actors, but we're gonna get into it, guys. This one was insane. So basically, Shannon Sharp, you know, he has a podcast and, and it is incredible, guys. This is one of the best podcasts I've ever seen in my entire life. He basically unfolds all the nonsense that goes on. And one of the main talking points that I love here, guys, I'm gonna start it off like this. He talks about how he's worked so hard for so many years and these guys just fly by him out of nowhere, guys. Like they're basically plants, you know, and I 100% agree. I see people on YouTube as well. I see people out of nowhere just blowing up and can you get a movie role as an actor, you know, and you haven't been acting for more, less than, you know, a few months? Yes, you can, but it's super rare, guys. Most people, their whole lives is driven into, you know, Mark Norman, Joe Rogan. These guys have to build from the ground up, guys, you know? Like all these different guys, and he unveils the, the veil on this guy. This is incredible. Stay tuned. Let's get it. I told him, don't have an actor at playing a pimp. We could get an actual pimp, Archbishop Magic Don Juan, to play. Like, I, I did far too much work for somebody to come years later and try to tag along just for their own self aggrandizement. What? Yeah, so he, he, every single thing that he says is amazing. So he said that he did so much work for Friday, which Friday is the best movie of all time. I'm pretty sure every single person has seen Friday. It's like one of those classics, it's like Pulp Fiction. But Friday, you know, he says that I did all this work and I got nothing for it, guys. I believe it, you know, I, I believe it. That's how they do, guys. They use you and they abuse you, guys. They just throw you away. I didn't cube set the record straight. Terry Crews could have set the record straight. Mike Epps could have set the record straight. Why none of them set the record straight? That's what you were supposed to ask him when he told you those lies that but no I didn't one's know ever heard. Lie. Right, but he's telling you something no one's ever heard of. Nobody has ever heard. Oh, Matt Aff Ben Affleck and Matt Damon was in a movie, and somebody said, y'all should switch roles. And, like, this is a business. But that's the thing, Cap. <laughs> Normally, when people are giving you information, I'm thinking I'm hearing it for the first time, and they're giving information no one else knows or has ever heard. So I'm taking them at face value. These are like No, I, I, I agree with Shannon Sharp, guys. When you're talking to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, right, whether you're in a pub or in a club setting, whatever the case may be, if you're on an interview as well, especially, you have to take people at their face value, guys. I mean, you you have to kind of, in a way, you know, understand what they're saying and, you know, think that that's the truth, guys. If they're lying straight to your face, just know them to never trust them ever again. It's crazy. This is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash Damn. and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget <laughs> that? You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Bro, I I love Cat Williams, guys. I freaking love this guy. He, in my book, he's gone up tenfold. Like Steve Harvey and all these guys. I mean, who 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 ever trusted those guys, man? Just lying out their damn teeth. Oh, I was homeless. I was all this shit, bruh. You were probably making more money than anyone. You know what I mean? Like like most people that come into comedy, they have to build their way up, guys. It's very very tough in comedy. You don't just get a movie deal and then all of a sudden blow up like other people. We're gonna talk about here. That doesn't happen, guys, in the real world unless, you know, you do something or you're a plant or something like that. I 100% agree with this dude. Cat Williams is the beast, the boss, and he's only 5'5", five five, little skinny guy. You know, doesn't matter how big and strong you are, guys. We're talking about the truth here, guys. I love it. Like, what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. The, uh, uh, Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the comedy store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. I believe him, guys. Like, you know, I believe it, guys. All these guys make up lies to make their truth sound better. You know, The Rock, even The Rock was saying I had seven bucks in my pocket. Seven bucks? Bro, I haven't worked, you know, I've been working on my own business for years and years. Even myself, I have thousands in the bank account. What do you mean seven bucks? It's complete lies, guys. You, these guys make up these stories to make you feel sorry for them, for, to make them feel like bigger stars than they actually are. You understand? It's a story, guys. It's not reality. You understand? They do that on purpose because seven bucks, bro. Sure, you had seven bucks in your pocket. Maybe that day, maybe for lunch, 
you know, you had thousands probably, or, or at least hundreds. Come on, bro, come on. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. Oh. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? Ooh, and by the way, I love Soul Plane. Soul Plane is one of my favorite movies ever. I just watched it a few months ago for the first time, actually. I, I watched it when I was a kid, but I kind of forgot about it. Soul, Soul, Soul Plane is amazing with Method Man and, and with Snoop Dogg. But guys, like he said, complete lies. I, I'm not saying Kevin Hart's bad. He's okay, but he's not. He's not the greats, guys. Richard Pryor. You know, he's not these great Bernie Mac. He's not these big greats, guys. You know, he's not these big greats that come out the woodwork and everyone's like, "Wow, the best comedians ever." Chris Rock. You know, why isn't Chris Rock starring in all his movies and stuff? You know, well, I think actually he's a little bit different too. Chris Rock, is, he has been in movies before, but it's crazy, guys. You get a Kevin Hart kind of guy who's not really that funny. He's okay. He's not that. I know people are like, oh, man, he's he's okay, guys. He's literally not that funny. Compared to, like, great American comedians like Chris, Chris, um, Chris Rock, you know, then you got, like I said, Bernie Mac. You got all these other guys that have to work their way up. They never get anything in comedy. Even Cat Williams, hilarious, because I watched some, I watched some of his stand up. You know George Carlin, all these amazing. These are these are the best comedians in the world. And then you have a Kevin Hart come along, and it's almost like he steals the show somehow. I don't get it, guys. I just don't understand that. Kevin Hart's just not that good, bro. He's okay. He's like a he's like an okay guy, but he's not like a legend in the game. And then all of a sudden, he gets his own he gets his own movie. He gets his own TV series. Like, what did he do to get there? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? Damn, that's a that's a bomb dropper. Like, how the hell is he able to do the two of them at the same time? How the hell are you in the East Coast of the U.S. and now you're in the West? Doesn't add up, boys. Doesn't add up. It did happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies. But Jesse Smollett going to keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Mm. Like it's important. Yeah, Jesse Smollett, that was that was a crazy thing. I think Alex Jones said that he was wrong years ago and nobody believed him. So, but with in regards to Kevin Hart, guys, like you know, people need to be called out and people don't get it. People work so hard, like years and years on YouTube in their field and comedy and doing every club and going on every podcast and working so hard. You see it here in Ireland. Let me ask you a question, guys. If you're watching this in Ireland, why haven't anybody here blown up? And the people that have blown up, have you heard about them before they blew up? No, because they do it on purpose, guys. They, they're a plant, guys. They, they put them there as like the token Irish guy or the token this guy. They do it on purpose, guys. They choose who they want to blow up. Now, you'll make a good living maybe from YouTube or from your own platform podcast, but you ain't never going to blow up to like the big Hollywood. Sh this is not going to happen, guys. Forget about it. Like, do you know what I mean? Forget about it. I don't want to be all that, but you'll just know that those people that extend to that level, they've done something to be there, guys. They have done something nefarious in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What powerful. do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. Yeah, and then it's funny, that's the best statement ever, because Kevin Hart put up a tweet yesterday, or did like a few hours after this, and said, oh, you have to get all that anger out. Oh, by the way, guys, go check out my new movie. Like, pretending that nothing ever happened. Like, big dog, like, <laughs> we know what's going on, bro. Like, all the people coming out the woodwork now, giving out, oh, shouting at him, saying, no, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. We know why, guys. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? That's a super, super powerful statement. Gary Owen, guys, he's been in comedy for 25 years, working his ass off, 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. Like, he, he's a big platform, but he's not crossed over to that multi million status. He's not crossed over to that international status. Why is that? And he's saying because he's white as well, which 
you know, let's be honest, guys, it might, it'll give you a little bit more pull, right? In some areas, like of the US, especially if there's like a lot of white people at the top or whatever, right? America's fair most of the time, but for sure when it comes to Hollywood, guys, you get that extra pull for some things, right? If you're a token guy or you're this or... We all know, guys, but everything he's saying is so correct, guys. Perfect. If what I say ain't the case. It's a cabal. It's a it's a consortium. They they rock with who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, <laughs> and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. That's what's up. Because Shannon Sharp, that's what's up. Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Absolutely. And he always was. That doesn't change when I change teams. That remains the same. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers, I, I was. They canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out. But I he, love that, guys. I love that. Like, <clears throat> we'll break it down. He said all these shortcut takers. I see it even on YouTube, guys. I see these people blow up out of nowhere. I'm like, dude, how? How the hell? And then everyone says, oh, they just worked harder. Bro, listen, let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> Ain't nobody working harder than everybody on YouTube. YouTube, I do 10, 12 hours a day, right? For, for the most part, right? Some days I do less, like five hours, but for the most part, I'm doing like 10, 12 hours. I see other YouTubers working, going crazy amount of work, work, work. They don't cross over like a lot of these other guys. Like, you know, I'm not saying names now, but we all know the big YouTubers, even in Ireland, guys. Look at the people that are blown up here on YouTube. You guys can tell. What's going on with that, guys? You know, is there is there some sort of they're doing something or they're leading to something? I'm not saying it's all a big conspiracy. You can blow up for sure in your own regard for sure, but this is very strange, guys. He said even I, I got he got canceled for the Harvey Weinstein thing before Harvey Weinstein. He offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. Yeah. What am I supposed? And, and, and you know, we all know Harvey Weinstein was going around grabbing people. Terry Crews, I love Terry Crews is one of my favorite people in Hollywood. He was grabbing Terry Crews. He was doing all this crazy stuff, and then they made Terry Crews look like a, like a baby. But he's getting sexually assaulted. Like it, it's complete. It's disgusting, guys. What's to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there. It's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they <laughs> did to get there? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying, guys. He said like, and then there was he was thing. I'm I'm the only black guy on the script. There was three other dudes that showed up too, bro. What do they have to do to get on the script? You see what I'm saying, guys? And let me tell you this, guys. I'm going to end it here because it's the segment's over. Growing up my whole life, my, my mom used to tell me all the time, like, you know, watch out for all these people, man, you know, in Hollywood and stuff. They always do this, like, real weird shit. Like, and we know what I'm talking about, guys. Sucking stuff and putting stuff, you know, in different places and wanting to sleep with you and stuff like that, guys. That's what Hollywood is about, guys. And that's what a lot of these higher-ups are doing now. And it's... Really scary stuff. You want, want to stay far away from that as possible, guys. I love you all, man. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you guys all think. Bro, some scary stuff out there. Like, for him to come on saying that Harvey Weinstein said that to him, so I'll suck you this and I'll give you a better role. I mean, look, forget about forget about all the women. The women had to sleep with people or else they don't get roles. It came out in Natalie Portman. All these different people had to sleep with Harvey Weinstein or at least do weird stuff with Harvey Weinstein, an old, fat, decrepit guy. And what are the men doing, guys? Let me tell you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.